Hey everyone, today I've just got a little update for you, kind of like uh, showing you a few of my games and just uh, generally talking about my PlayStation 3 and stuff. So, first bit of exciting news is um, in my unboxing video I did talk about getting S-Video for the um, PS3 because my projector up there um, isn't high definition and the composite does not look good through the PlayStation at all. I plugged it in and the small text um, on screen, like in the PlayStation Store and stuff, you literally cannot read the writing. Um, so, I've bought an S-Video cable for the PlayStation in a uh, hope to sort of maybe get some improved quality. Now, S-Video is definitely a better cable, uh, generally, but I tried to get the best I could. Let me show you the cable. Here it is. Um, it's your standard PlayStation cable. As you can see, you've got AV jacks and everything. But the most important bit is this one here. This is the S video connection, okay? And as you can see, it is gold, okay? Now, um, for those of you who, um, most of you probably do know that gold uh, produces a better connection. As you can see, the part that goes into the PlayStation is also gold. Um, it's a high quality cable. You can get these really cheap. You can get these for like, um, you know, two ninety nine, three ninety nine. But I decided to spend, you know, the, the much much higher price just to try and attempt to get um, good quality. So this is obviously a normal length cable, and uh, my PlayStation is here, uh, right next to me, and the projector's all the way over there. So I needed an extender cable. So I got this. This is a ten meter S video extender cable to go along with all the other cables that I've got going around to the projector. Um, I also got this one gold as well, so I spent a bit more to get the gold connection on this one. Because what's the point in getting gold on that one, but not in this one? So um, hopefully, I it, it will be a be it will be better quality. Um, but I hope I can read the writing on screen. If not, I'll be pretty damn gutted because there, there is literally nothing else I can do after trying this S video that hasn't got component or HDMI or anything like that. So. Um, I will definitely update you to how that looks. Uh, follow me on Twitter. There'll be a little thing down here now with my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter to uh, find out my progress with that. I'll try and fit that later. But on a more positive note then, um, let me take you through some games that I've bought. So, um, I have a pile of games for a variety of different systems. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the N64 games because um, I haven't picked up any N64 games in quite a while. So first, we have South Park. This is one on my list that I wanted to get. It's a very cool game. I used to have it for the Dreamcast. Um, I think they do like a South Park racing game as well. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, this one should be cool. That one was £3, I believe. This one's Yoshi's Story. Apparently, this game is very short. I don't know if there's like six or eight levels or something. But it's very colourful, very fun. It's a kid's game. And uh, it's a really cool game. And then the last one then, one that I've been looking out for for ages, and that's Wave Race 64. Really cool game. Um, apparently it feels very, very fluid when you're playing it as well. I wouldn't mind uh, Wave Race Blue Storm for the GameCube. That would be really awesome. But um, yeah, I got this one for the N64 to begin with. So there are the three N64 games that I got. Um, moving on then, I got a few PC games. Um, this is cool. I got Half-Life 2 Episode 1. So this is the first expansion to Half-Life 2 on the PC. Now this is really cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to play through it on the PC. I probably am. But I, I'm getting it for the PS3 as well as part of the orange box. So um, I'll see what I think there. But yeah, got that. Um, I got GTA 2 for the PC. This is, um, you know, before they went proper 3D and everything. It's like an aerial shot um, of, the, of your car and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to play it like tons and tons and get into it. I'm just going to, you know, install it and have a quick go at that. Um, just because it was there, really, I, I got a Sonic 3D, another retro one. Pretty cool. Got that on the Mega Drive. And I got Starsky and Hutch just because it was there as well. So I basically got all of the, uh, the PC games that were there. So I got all these in a charity shop for a total of about £3, I think. And... Um, Two of these N64 games were £3 and one of them was 5 Okay, so uh, moving on then to my GameCube games. Um, another story, I basically just got the ones that were there. I got Die Hard. This looks pretty cool. This was £5, I thought it was worth it. You know, you don't 
I've talked about this before, you don't really see GameCube games around here anymore. So um, that's cool. Die Hard for the GameCube. Sorry about this. Just wants me to update iTunes. And then we have uh, 18 Wheeler, some kind of a lorry racing game by the looks of it. Looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm a fan of these kind of games, so yeah, that should be pretty cool. So they're the two GameCube ones I've got then. Moving on to my last three games, and I bet you can guess what console they're for. They are indeed for the PlayStation 3, so let's uh, take a look at what I got. By the way guys, um, I forgot to mention this in my unboxing video, this is Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, this was in the PlayStation already, okay? So, um, the guy is posting me the case because he forgot to send me the case for the game. He posted the PlayStation with this in the, uh, with this in the drive, you know? So the case for Grand Theft Auto 4 should be here tomorrow. He said he'd get it to me by Saturday. Um, so yeah, I went out and bought some PlayStation games. I bought them all second hand. Um, I think it came to a total of about £26 for these three, which is pretty good. So yeah, let me take you through them. First we have Resistance 2, apparently this is a pretty good game, um, I'm not too familiar with this one but it should be uh, really good, I'm looking forward to that, this one is uh, complete and in very good condition. Next I got Fallout 3, um, this one's got a very high reputation as far as I know, um, yeah it's pretty cool, I got Fallout 1 and 2 uh, on Mac actually and um, I don't think it's a similar game at all to Fallout 1 and 2. So yeah, I got those two. They're pretty cool, both in really good condition. And then I bought one off eBay, which is a really, really cool game. I love this game. And that is the original Skate. So yeah, um, this one's complete with uh, disc and manual as well. So I got a pretty good little collection going for the PlayStation 3 so far. I ordered another one for the PlayStation. It should be here tomorrow. Um, that's the orange box. And for those of you who don't know um, what that is, it's basically Half-Life 2 with Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2 and like expansions like that. And um, what else? Portal. Legendary. And there's another game on there as well. I, don't, I can't remember what it is now. Anyway, um, yeah, check out the orange box. It's really good. I got it brand new for like 10 quid, which is amazing. And um, yeah, it packs so many games into one. So I've got quite a good stack going here. Let me just stack them all up to show you. And um, I'm very proud of my pickups recently. There you have it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Like I said, I am going to try out this cable. Um, just ignore the uh, composite, you know, because that's what I'm using at the moment. Um, it's not gonna. It's not too great at all, to be honest. And look, it's in one of these anti-human boxes that you physically cannot get into, which is right pain. But yeah, yeah. It says enjoy premium quality sound with RC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it says also enjoy a much clearer picture with better pixel definition and all that stuff. Apparently, um, with S video, the pixels don't bleed together as much. Um, I did research it slightly. Um, I hope I do get better quality. As you can tell, I am very worried about this because on my projector screen at the moment, using um, a composite, I cannot read small writing, which is gutting. And also, um, I'm not going straight to composite either. I'm going through a SCART converter, which is awful. I don't mind using SCART for things like the Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast and stuff because, you know, they're lower quality anyway. But using SCART on something like the PlayStation 3, my god guys, a really, really awful picture quality comes from SCART. I, I hate SCART as a connection. It's bloody awful. But anyway, um, my rant is now over about SCART and composite and the rest of it. Hopefully this video is going to be okay. And um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. So thanks very much for watching and I hope everyone has a good weekend. Alright guys, so I was dying to test that S-Video thing, and I did, okay, so let me show you the outcome. Um, this is what I was using before, this stupid SCART thing, so that I could put a SCART in there and get the composite output from here. Awful picture quality, but as you can see I'm using the S-Video cable now, here's the extender cable, there's the PlayStation, it's plugged in up there, okay. And you're coming across then, here's the extender cable, obviously I'll fit this in permanently. Here's the composite video by the way that isn't fitted in perfectly and there's the VGA but whatever that's going up there to the projector and plugging into the S video input behind there 
And then on the PlayStation then, we've got optical audio coming out of the back and into my um, 5.1 receiver and we're on digital in. We've got audio, we've got video. And check out the clarity, guys. Much, much better. It is really, really good. Um, I was not expecting an improvement this big at all. It is much, much better quality, okay? That's the kind of quality you're looking at for a standard definition um, projector, which is very, very good in my opinion. So this is the best quality that I've seen come out of my projector. It's looking very, very good and I'm very impressed. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.